It will be the biggest deployment to Afghanistan in recent years and could be one of the last. More than 800 troops of both 1st Battalion the Rifles and 1st Battalion the Royal Irish have come together to go through final preparations in readiness for their six months tour. As you can see behind me, part of the training here in Wales today is about dealing with a hostage situation, bringing mass casualties to safety. The soldiers didn't know what they were facing when they came into this scenario and it's a situation they could face on the ground in Afghanistan. Uh, these scenarios are very important because we're obviously we're trying to get away from the Herrick days, which was focused on war fighting. These days we're supporting the Afghans and we're trying to help them rebuild the country. So. Uh, these scenarios are mainly focused on us trying to de-escalate situations instead of escalating them. It's helped all of us. We've been put into the role that we'll be doing when we're out there. Um, so instead of training for not a specific role, we're doing the stuff that we will be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. We're working with our mentors, we're working with our interpreters, um, we're going out on patrols, we're getting into situations that might happen on the ground. It's the first time riflemen and rangers have operated beside each other since World War II. This is not a, it's not a combat operation. This is very much an enabling operation um, to provide security and protection to both mentors and advisors um, who will be going about their business across um, Kabul. And some of those advisors will be helping develop the Afghan National Army um, and others will be there um, advising and mentoring um, officials in Afghan ministries. So together they enable effectively Afghanistan to be able to stand on its own two feet. With peace talks ongoing between both the American and Afghanistan government, this could be one of the last deployments to the country. We always knew that this was going to take a significant uh, period of time, um, but uh, we're now in a position where hopefully there can be a negotiated settlement um, and um, there will be some sort of long-lasting peace in Afghanistan and um, you know I'm very proud that um, I've been able to play a, a part in that over, over three operational tours um, and uh, um, I'm hoping that you know um, that this will be the, the last the last operational tour in Afghanistan I suspect it suspect it won't be. Soldiers from One Rifles and One Royal Irish will depart for Kabul in various stages from the end of next week.